Alright, welcome back to Snowbanner Gaming and to our Crusader Kings 2. Let's play in the sunny Wessex. Last time we were able to um, unite our lands again. My sibling is not happy. But, uh, yeah. That's how it's gonna be. He does have the county of Wiltshire and Devon. But if he raises against me, I'll just kill him. Anyway, we are also the Swedes are here. They have most of England because they conquered Mercia. So. So, so. It's actually pretty bad. But hopefully we do have a defensive pack against them. So we'll see how it goes on pause. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors have reached you that people are conspiring to kill your wife, Gundrada. This is worrying. Let's see who that is. Oh, it's just a rumor, I don't actually know. Well, hopefully she doesn't die. Only giving me daughters, but she's a pretty okay wife, I think. Germany is creeping into France pretty badly. Okay, and we got some... My courtier got a son. Okay, great. Ooh, my lover. Oops. <laughs> oh well. So, let's see. Let's raise the men. Go kill some raiders. Good. So we can disband. We can go into hiding, but I don't really feel like it. I think it's gonna be fine. We could actually form a kingdom. Do we want to do that? Realm size is 37. What we do need is... Oh, we need prestige as well. Three duchy titles. I have one now. But I can create two. But they cost as well, don't they? Gold. Oh, well, that would give me 200 prestige. How about the other one? Same. Now that's 400 prestige. It would be 845. That's not really enough though. And we would lose... Well, yeah, we only have money to do one. Okay, so we can't do it now. That's, that's something to this uh, to think because... Um, like we saw when, when his dad died, he went to his uh, male heirs. So then we had two kingdoms which were not under each other, so that's really bad. So, yeah. Five thousand men. We have three thousand. They have ships though. Do they have any allies? A lot. That's a tribal vassal. I don't, I don't think that's the same. Yeah, these are all tribal vassals. I wonder... Shame that the defensive pack can't be used offensively. Oh, sweet bird is everywhere. Ugly borders though. Jesus Christ. Oh well, let's go forward. It's a trap! Oh, it was the uh, the event we got on the last episode. My sheriff and I discussed what we should do about the outlaws and came up with two ideas. Every man and woman who had been harassed by the bandits, including the sheriff, have been told about the leader's skill with the bow. 
An archery contest might lure him out of his beloved forest. Another option would be to uh, would be to use a disguise to find the villain and bring them to court. Too risky. Archery contest, of course. That's what my lovers exist. Okay. Clever disguise should work. Let's try the archery contest. The archery contest. The day was perfect for an archery contest. The sun hid between clouds. A small breeze cooled the nerv nerves, the nervous, and everyone seemed happy. The targets were set and ready. All that was needed now was my signal. Let the contest begin. We get prestige. Fifty percent chance to see. Let us see who we capture. This might not work. Okay. Interesting. The green clad stranger. Over there. Yes, there. That's him, all right. What do we do now? The sheriff pointed at a man clad in green with the with a great bow in his hands. I watched him as he won effortlessly against every person foolish enough to try and match their skill with against his. The man's skill with his great bow amazed me. This man is a great archer. Too bad he is a lawless poacher living off my venison. Arrest and hang him. <laughs> Perhaps I could hire him and his merry men as gamekeepers. Courtier named Robin. Courtier named Marion appears. Alright. Merciful. Arrest and hang him. Well, everybody would love me. Intrigue minus minus one is not good, but, you know, yeah, let's do that. Someone's conspiring to kill my daughter, that's not nice. How about you stop? How about you stop? Anyway, we got some, we got Robin, Robin Hood and <laughs> Marion here. So... 20 Marshall Marion of Wilton Interesting It will be a nice, nice Marshall Who's our Marshall now? Oh, Bishop Well, he's as good Do you do anything good? Brave, ambitious, proud Okay Brave, ambitious, proud as well 14 Intrigue. How's our... I could be a spy master. It's my queen. Okay, maybe not make him her angry. <laughs> so, let's continue. The wedding. The wedding between Lady Mary and Robin was held in the forest. Venison was served at the wedding feast, but I let it slip for now. The bridal couple had only eyes for each other, and when the fat monk started playing a slow, beautiful song about love, they joined hands and danced, still gazing into each other's eyes. They did not even notice when the song turned faster and the rest of the dancers followed the rhythm, but continued dancing slowly until the stars started to sparkling on the clear sky. I wish them good luck with all my heart. Okay, they went married. Now what? Now you're married. Good job. My leash. Oh yeah. You were trying to kill my daughter. Not fun. Not fun at all. So who can we attack now? You? Keep has been built in bath. Okay. Someone wants to kill someone again. That's my kinsman. Kinsman. Not sure I care. Um, let's see. I was supposed to look at you. How many packs? King of Pickland, who has oh, 
a lot of troops. Okay, let's not attack there then. How about you? 1.6k. Ah, interesting. For some time now, my lover Elfit has been avoiding me. She has not visited my bedchamber for several weeks. When I have demanded to know why she hasn't has given me nothing but feeble excuses. Today I heard a couple of her servants gossiping. They said Elfit has contracted syphilis. Well, let's try to help. Got the kind trait. The Dancing Plague. Something very strange is happening in the country of Essex. It all started with one peasant dancing in the streets, but soon there were dozens of them, and now there are hundreds, men, women, and children alike. Musicians are playing joyous tunes all day and all night, and the peasants barely have time to eat or sleep. The dancing has gone on for days, and people have started to collapse from exhaustion. It seems as if dancing is spreading at an alarming rate, with groups of dancing people sailing off in the direction of other towns. Well, that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, we got some raiders again, and there's some... What's that plague? That is what? Oh, the dancing plague! Oh, this is interesting. Dancing plague, also known as St. Vitus dance, is spreading like wildfire amongst the populace. The ailment is probably caused by ergot poisoning. Okay. I realized I actually haven't built any hospitals anywhere. Maybe I should do that. It's somewhere here, yeah. Let's do that. At least one. One, one place. And then we're gonna raise our forces. And head that way. There we go. Killed some raiders. It's always nice. Do we need to build more hospitals? Maybe we should do it in Dorset as well. I think the normal hospitals don't aren't actually that good, but when you upgrade them they're pretty good. Barracks has been built in Win Winchester. A local dignitary is visiting together with his pretty young wife. She wears a shining necklace, apparently some kind of priceless family heirloom. While he prattled on, your mind begins to wonder. Suppose the bubble was to disappear. This could prove an excellent opportunity to better your skill at intrigue. No, that would be too cruel. Actually, I think, yeah, let's change our focus. I think we can do that. Churchip, maybe? Hunting, war. Family? Let's do family, yeah. We need to be, get more. I don't have any sons yet. Independence faction. Is it, uh, well, all right. After enjoying a hearty meal, you look out the window at the dancing peasants. The music is tantalizing riding, but you have felt a bit restless as of late. Uh, yeah, let's dance. Sounds good. I just are you about to leave your court vision grabs hold of your arm. Oswald tells you that it's not a good idea to join the dance. Least you too should collapse from exhaustion. Instead, he recommends that you rest. Uh, oh well, if you say so. Sure. Nissan of Asian converted to Catholic faith. Well, that's great, but I need to convert all of the Fanticelli things. Oh, some raiders again. Hello. How are you doing? Maybe build something here as well. Or barracks. Yeah, 
Why not? <laughs> I think these are all my child children. <laughs> Amazing. So we got the dancing plague. Uh, I think we'll go into seclusion actually. Shut the gates. I hope these do, uh, do get independent. Oh, I forgot to dis disband these fellas. Peasants of Norfolk are are quite far apart and spread out. Your spy master Guntrada de Montbilliard suggests investing a provincial messenger system so that they can communicate with their kin more easily. She claims that doing so would attract more peasants to the county Norfolk. Okay. Oh yes, an excellent idea. Supply limit one more for two years. Prestige. Prosperity increases. Yeah, why not? Life in seclusion isn't so bad. After finishing a, a hearty breakfast, you belt scondently and remark upon your foresightedness in Chew in Wessex. The larders were well stocked. However, as soon as the word leave your lips, you notice the suddenly panicked look on your servant's face. My king, you just ate the very last pickled boar's head, and almost all of our other food suckings are nearing exhaustion. Furthermore, the servant continues uh, to drone on, but you are too aghast to listen. No more pickled boar's heads. <laughs> okay. So we'll see how this... Okay, it's now it's going away. You have searched Vesex uh, from top to bottom and have come to realize there are no more pickled boar heads. Not only that, but all the other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Your servant really should have mentioned that. Tough times ahead of us all. That's great. Okay, dancing play is gone. We can open the gates. Alright, so is there anybody trying to kill us now? Nope. That's great. We could compose a book. We don't have the money for it. We could hold a feast. We never do that. Let's do that. Alright. The traveling dancers first danced for us, and while dancing to a fast and glad tune which made me want to dance, invited everyone to join them. I danced. I danced until I panted and my face was red, then I had to sit down and rest for a while watching the dancers and the courtiers having more fun da than in a long time. I'd like to hire you for my feast. Alright. No feast is complete without boar meat. Who will get the prestigious task of hunting and slaying the boars needed to feast? Marshall can do it. I hunt the boars myself. 2% of getting maimed, 7% of getting wounded. Let's try. I think I did it. Abandon the commentary. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what foodstuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar and duck, spices, wine and ale, honey for the desert, desserts, cheeses and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. Yeah, let's do that. Invitations. Good. Thanks, thank you, Queen. Oh. What? What's wrong with you? Asshole. What? Wow, nobody's coming. That was pretty bad.
cut the throat of one of our servants when he clumsily man spilled the wine. What? Why would you do that? Yeah. Prison him. Well, it's not a great beast though. Breakfast built. So, what are you trying to do? Lies the vessel. Thank you for reminding me of the duties. You're right, of course. Good. Thank you. As a reigning king, I rarely have any spare time, but for my little daughter Githa, I would more heaven and earth. I would move heaven and earth. Family first. Great. Sounds great. Children lack focus. Okay, well. There it is. You can do like. Heritage. Duty sounds good. Got a hundred gold. I guess we have more men now. Yeah, three and a half thousand. Oh, slower fever. That's bad. The dancing fever is a plague. Unknown <laughs> fodder. Could we adopt? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's spreading. Oh, it's here now. Guess we do need to shut the gates. We can't. Why? Oh. Damn. Okay. Burn. Your mother comes to see you. My son, I am worried. Your Marshal Bishop Edwulf doesn't seem to have the best interest in mind when executing his task of his office. I fear he may become danger to your rule in the long run. Well, crap. He's a good Marshal. All right, let's do it. Then we need get we can get Robin to be our marshal. Hey, <laughs> we can train troops. How's everybody else doing? I mean, there's not much to conquer now, so you can maybe improve diplomatic relations with my brother you're making money sabotage okay Wessex damn Vikings your Regan wield has finished his education in the ways of war it seems he has learned all the basic skills required very good. So he's a tough soldier. Now oh, we can shut the gates. Let's do that. I guess this is slow fever is not fun. Most of all, the Corfusion informs me that Aelthrith is suffering from a current epidemic. Having her stay with the rest of you inside the walls pay but you at risk. Uh, that's my lover, with my five childs. Help her any way you can. Oh man. Oh, there's some raiders again. Let's get the troops. These two can go there, and these three can go there.
Okay, I guess we can disband them. Shame we can't get rid of you, shit. Oh, your lover died of... Okay. Well, that's bad. She left... A zero-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, six-year-old, and a six-year-old. Oh, man. That is sad. Well, they'll be all, they will be taken care of in, in my court. What happened? What are you fighting against? Second Swedish conquest of Kaki Salami. I see. Alright. Hmm. Is there somehow we can... Uh, we can simply band together and attack this goddamn asshole. Okay, now my brother doesn't hate me that much, I guess. Still minus 100. Coward. As you're working, court physician uh, Oswald burst into your king. My king, you have been up on and again. It would be, be your best interest to work, to not work so hard. Uh, 30 years? Fuck that. Which one did we get? Neither. Okay, and my brother likes me again. Well, at least we're not stressed. We're paranoid. Truce breaker. Oh, well, we had a truce. Interesting. Oh, wife is pregnant. Hopefully, that's a boy. As there's a revolt. Life in six illusion. Oh, this is the same. It's the. It's not going over, is it? What's that? Measles. Oh, great. Great, great. I'll implement the system rationing because I'm a high stewardship skill. Okay. Well, that's good. I try to get good night's sleep, but I'm tormented by horrible re recurring nightmares of our people. The pleas for help and the hurtful words begin to get me. Okay. I'll just help them. Fine. Hopefully nobody dies. A third daughter, really? It has come to my attention that the Chancellor of Lincoln, Main Wolfgurt of Boston, has brightened that in this way through my domain to get enough people to recognize the claim on my title as prefacties. Count Sigwald of. Oh, oh crap. Well, if he does. We have a defensive back, so. Alright, well they have a claim now. Or he has. Norfolk. Here's a dark nays. My daughter's Githa have been growing weaker and weaker with loose face. Oh, great. And now that daughter has snow fever. Oh my god. Everybody's dying and I can't shut the gates anymore. Jupiter and his wife, the Trobaritz, has arrived from Occitania. Their problems range from vulgar satires to political seventies and everything in between, including songs and poems of courtly love. Hmm. 
Let's see if two of my daughters die. Let's hope not. My friend's friend is also my friend. A motto I try to live by, and sometimes that is an easy truth. A friend of a friend was introduced, and immediately felt kind of connection with this stranger. Uh, so I hope we'll be friends. Sure. A reentrant Cerneur frowned upon my succession to arrange another meeting, clearly not interested in making new friends. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's build something. Build stables. Or a shipyard. Let's build... Castle Town. So we get to get more money. Your mother comes to see you. My son, I'm worried. You're a spy master. Really? I don't really get... gonna... kick my, uh, my wife. Come on, slow fever. You've been here forever. You have a new heir. Oh, my brother died? He died. Of what? Severe stress at the age of 26. Oh, great. His eight-year-old son is my heir now. Oh, man. Duchess Margaret. Okay. You what now? Okay, well, someone did something. Interesting, I guess. Um, we'll see what that was. Oh, crap. Now I'm gonna die. Cancer! Jesus. Do we even know what you're doing? Probably not. Fifteen. To ease your troubles, Otherworld consulted the stars before draining a good portion of your blood. Man. Diarrhea. Right. Slow fever. Many hours studying the stars before you <laughs> that in order to for you to shrink the, for your strength to return, you had to fast for the better half of fortnight. Oh man. So now I have a fever. Camp fever. How many goddamn man? All right. Well, on that bombshell, I think we're going to end. It's been half an hour, so thank you. And uh, come back next time if we'll see if either consumption or... I mean, I have so many. I have fever, diarrhea, abdominal pain. I think I might die, boys. Then my eight-year-old son will be... Or my brother's son will be the heir. So... We'll see you that next time. Bye for now.